my gosh. Big Sox 340 two-stroke motor. How did it feel, Bill? Just wow, man. This thing is unbelievable. I've never ridden a Rokon automatic before. Instantly fell in love with it. Wow. So What's really incredible is how fast it stops. These brakes are amazing. Man, they're smoking, though. I got them red hot. It's got the magnesium wheel set. That's from the factory, too, huh, Bill? Sure is. Yeah, this is really a rare piece. Sure is. 340 big bore two stroke. Easier to start than you'd think. Yeah, one one easy pull. It's got a lot of compression, but you know, when they're tuned in. And uh, this one's tuned properly. The clutch is perfect. It sits at idle and uh, doesn't, there's no drag. You, I would think that it would drag slightly, but it doesn't. They, uh, I knew Andrew got it dialed in proper. Wow. Oh my God, what a thrill to ride. It's so exciting. I thought it was going to be kind of sluggish, you know, because being what it is, but yeah. no, it's not at all. In fact, I can see now why these things were gold medal winners in the ISDT for a number of years in the 70s. I it's, can see, see it firsthand now. You know, jumping on a CR500, a lot of guys will put it in third gear. Um, and in stock gear, you, th you, you can go 60 miles an hour in third gear from a dead stop and modulate through the clutch. Right. Big board two-stroke, two and that's really what it feels like. It's get, like getting pulled by a rubber band. Yeah. Yes, it is, but it does not feel sluggish. You know, it really uh, very well engineered. They really dialed in that clutch, and uh, it's full, properly adjusted right now. Jordan. Yeah, I really, uh, I, I'll bet you I was doing 50 miles an hour right here. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is absurd, Bill. Yep. So, yeah, Andrew got it dialed in, did a co compression test. Uh, spark tested good. Uh, cleaned the carburetor, installed a brand new air filter, cleaned the points, installed a, a new kill switch, uh, replaced the front wheel bearings, uh, test rode it, ended up tuning in the carburetor, uh, replacing some jets, made some changes, fixed the choke plunger, which is operable now, uh, installed a brand new uh, chain, um, and rebuilt the, oh, re replaced the front master cylinder, uh, and replaced the front brake line in fittings and bled the front brakes. The front brakes are all new, so that's part of the reason why it stopped so good, Bill. Right. Um, replaced the O-rings on both upper fork caps, and then it went down to detail where it was hot water pressure wash, degreased, tires were cleaned. Uh, let me see, touched up the frame, uh, small touch up on the chassis, uh, polished the bars, controls, wheels, hardware. Total damage on the work order is $1,917.41, parts, labor, uh, materials and tax. See if there's anything else that we're missing here. Uh, looks like we just about covered it. Um, Kenny, this bike is like really very well representative of, of, of it, of it, the way it was when it was first made. You know, the exhaust is here, the proper exhaust, the fenders, I believe the, those are old stock fenders. The tank, I, I don't think this bike saw any competition use. Because when they did, they would they would show signs of it. You'd see knee dragging on the tank. Right. You'd see little dents in the uh, in the grill on the exhaust here. It's mint. Maybe a survivor on our hands here, huh? I think it is. So the, the techs noted that there was no wiring for the lights. Uh, there's no headlight assembly in the rear shocks. I'll be you know although they're I, we believe that they're the originals, right, Bill? I think they are. Well, yeah. They need to be rebuilt, but they, they're present. Right. They could come back to life. They, they could. Yeah, yes. Other than that, I would say that uh, mechanically, the bike's as new. It's got a bolt load of compression, tight motor. Um, and uh, hey, it looked like she was ripping there for you, Bill. <laughs> I know. I, I'll, I'll bet you could see a look of fear on my face when the front end started wagging in the air a little bit there. It's kind of hard to, um, to modulate when you're not used to the throttle with the belt drive. Right. If you're a direct drive with gear and chain, uh, you, you let the throttle off, it slows down, but uh, but really, surprisingly, came uh, came up in the air. So, look at the eBay ad for full write-up. We can ship it anywhere in the States inexpensively. Message your zip code for a shipping quote. We do offer financing through Freedom Road. Um, 
let me see what else. If you have any questions, call the shop or leave us an eBay message. It's going to be put back in the museum now. Actually, we're going to go take the photos of it and park it where it's going to be waiting for the new owner. It is running um, a non-ethanol uh, two-stroke blend in the fuel tank, uh, nice stable fuel. So it'll be ready to uh, pull start and go off to the races when it uh, finds its new home. I get to ride a little more? With the idle? Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck bidding, and God bless America. Made in America, Rokon Motorcycles. And they also float down the river as a flotation device. Just kidding, not, not this one. This is the motocross one. Yeah, the first bike was a dirt bike with disc brakes front and back. Oh, that's right, Billy. Yeah, yeah you gotta tell them about ever, that. First dirt bike ever with disc brakes front and back and only bike to my knowledge with mag wheels. You know, this bike was made in New Hampshire, right around the corner from where we are now. Right, I was just saying, made in, Amer in America. Yep. That's right, that's made it. in America. Uh, Yankee Motors was just up the street. They had a disc on the rear, but these guys beat them to the punch with a disc on the front where it really counts. So this is a high-performance motorcycle that could win you a gold medal in the ISDT back in the 70s. And uh, our New England boys did good work on the Rokon 340. The RT340 was the bike of... Uh, Definite uh, high engineering development uh, from the day, and, and uh, they threw it all in. You know, the works in New Hampshire did a fantastic job building these bikes, and they hired riders that were known good riders to work on their team at the factory building these bikes. So chromoly frame, disc brakes, mag wheels, super reliable Sox motor. This is a great motorcycle. You know, I'm like, I'm bowing to it. <laughs> it's a great bike. You and me both. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Bill. Thanks. Good luck bidding, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless America.